until the 1970s, computer was a NASA job title. It referred to mathematicians who performed calculations and plotted data for aviation and space research. Most of these jobs were held by women. NASA's first computers used tools like slide rules, basic calculating machines, and graph paper. When electronic computers became available to them, the human computers developed expertise in this new technology. In 1943, NASA's Langley Research Center in Virginia began employing African-American women to work as computers. At that time, Virginia law required African-Americans to use workrooms, cafeterias, and bathrooms separate from those used by other employees. Langley's African-American computers were assigned to the segregated West Area Computing Section until 1958. A talented mathematician, Dorothy Vaughn was one of the first African-Americans hired as a computer at Langley in 1943. A promotion six years later made her head of the West Area Computing Section and NASA's first African-American supervisor. Vaughn and her colleagues Mary Jackson, hired in 1951, and Katherine Johnson, hired in 1953, are the main characters in Hidden Figures, the movie based on Margot Lee Shetterly's book about the West Area Computers. With the movie's success, the work of African-American women at Langley and other NASA research centers is now being recognized. These women moved beyond their limited roles as computers to become leaders. When the first American astronaut traveled into space in 1961, Katherine Johnson calculated his flight path and ensured his safe return to Earth. Johnson's calculations were also critically important to the Apollo program, which first landed men on the moon in 1969. Hired as a computer at Maryland's Goddard Space Flight Center in 1959, Melba Roy Mountain led the team who calculated the orbit of Echo 1, NASA's first passive communication satellite, in 1960. Their timetables allowed millions of people worldwide to track the large, bright Mylar balloon as it circled Earth every 114 minutes. At Ohio's Glenn Research Center, Annie Easley was hired as a computer in 1955. She became an authority on rocket engines. The first spacecraft to orbit Saturn was launched in 1997 by a Centaur rocket that Easley helped develop. The Centaur is still used to launch global communication satellites and vehicles for space exploration. These African-American women, and many more, contributed to some of the most significant scientific breakthroughs of the 20th century. Their history was hidden for decades, but now they are inspiring a new generation of role models for young scientists, programmers, engineers, and mathematicians.